Hey guys, Cameron Tay. I am back in Southwest Florida. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Demon 170. This is a full guide uh, video on how to get the Demon 170 because I know it was a little challenging and uh, they've changed a couple things and made it easier. Uh, but st it is still pretty hard, which is good. Th that means they made a really good event. But uh, yeah. Well, anyways, this is a full guide on how to get the event. I do have a map also that I'm going to be using that is going to be helping me. No idea who made this, but. Uh, I'm sure you can obviously, you obviously know who you are, so shout out to you, whoever made this, but, uh, yeah, boys, this is a full guide on how to get the good old Demon 170, so, as you guys know, you head over to Fintech, come up right in here, and then you take the note, you already know, and also, since they originally first released the update, they have made a couple changes, they've changed a couple of the, uh, dead ends, so they've made it a little bit easier to navigate this place, um, they've slowed rafts down a little bit, and then also they fixed the teleportation because I knew a teleportation was a little big one that uh, was an issue. You would finish the thing and then you wouldn't teleport. All right. So first things first, cool little room here. You got these. You might need these also. You might need these. If Raft is chasing you, you want to hop in one of these. So you hop out here, grab the flashlight. First thing, uh, I'm kind of scared Raft's somewhere around here. I don't know where he's at. But what you need to find, it says on the left, pick up the flashlight and then find and turn all valves. Current progress is zero out of six. So the rafts, uh, rafts, the valves are going to look like this. is going to be a little blue uh, glow stick. Uh, on the floor in front of it. Go up here, you turn it, and then boom, it'll be green once it's turned. So, um... Okay, so that's... Alright, alright, alright. I do have the map up on screen. I'm going to be using this map. So I'm going to go get that one behind spawn. Um, there are arrows that kind of point you in the direction of... Uh, Helpful things, like it points you in the direction of the place you need to go at the end. And then also points you in the direction uh, of the uh, valves. So I'm going to head over there, keep going all the way down. Oh, never mind, don't go all the way down. Right here, blue light right here. So hit this, and there you go, two out of six. So I just got the one in front of spawn, the one behind spawn. And now I'm going to go all the way up and get those two that are kind of at the top. Now, some things to note is if you die, you have to restart the entire thing. So be very, very careful about where you are and uh, be aware of where Raft is. Listen for sounds and stuff like that. Your screen will shake when he comes up on you. Um, there's also these little rooms, which I'm pretty sure um, working. Uh, it works if you hide in these. Uh, you can get away from him. So if he is chasing you, uh, make sure just to outrun him and hide in those things. Um, also... Those are what those little red R's are around this map. Those those little red rooms you can go into and hide. Also, at the bottom, uh, there is that little white bar that is your stamina. So, I'm hitting shift right now, and I'm running. And there we go. So, we're now at this dead end. So, I'm going to make a little left here. And, yep, here's another one. Right here. Sit here. You'll know when Raph's coming, by the way. It'll, music will sound. You'll hear that weird sound that you guys heard at the beginning. Uh, and then, also, uh, your screen will shake violently when he's very close. So, all those, another right arrow down here. So it's easy enough. Keep walking all the way down. There's another arrow. Turn right. And then, boom. Look at that. Another freaking valve right here, boys. Let's go. And boom, just like that. Licky split. Four out of six. So I got the two above spawn. Now I'm going to go get the two on the other side of the map. And then we'll be done and move on to the next step. All right. So it looks to me they removed the gate here. So you can kind of cut over. There used to be a gate here that closed this off. Um, but I'm going to connect it on this map and fix it really quick. So let me do that really quick. All right. So that is one of the things fixed. Now, there should be a valve. I think right down here, I believe. There should be a valve down at the end of this hallway. Yep, I see it. There we go. Valve right down at the end of this hallway. Absolutely lovely. Now, some of these arrows can be a little bit confusing. So just kind of follow the map and make sure that you know uh, what you're doing and where you're going. So also, this is another pathway that was fixed. There used to be a gate right here. Uh, but you can now walk all the way down, and uh, yep, there's a little red room that we're seeing on the map right now. So I'm also going to fix that really quick. Places where I have marked with the big red fat letters, uh, or big red fat um, uh, areas is where the uh, map where the map connects now, where it didn't used to. So now at the end of this hallway, uh, there's a right over here, this little red room, and then you have the last of the uh, valves right here, boys. Look at that. And lickety freaking split. So once you find them, it'll make a sound and it says, find the key to the power room. Now, the key to the power room is on the map as well. I'm um, not too sure if this area is connected, actually. Let me see. And, yep, this used to, uh, yep, this, this is connected now. Okay, so I'm going to fix that as well. All right, so you don't have to run around the entire map now looking for other ways to get around this place. I haven't even seen Vraff once. He's pretty ugly. I'm sorry. Keep it a buck. You don't really want to see him. Yeah, come down here. There's a little four-way stop. You follow these tires. 
and you will follow, you will see some red, um, glow stick, uh, chem lights on the floor. Not that. They will be on the floor, just like the blue, but they'll be red instead, and you follow those. And, uh, there's also these brown bars. If you come across these, this is where you need to go after, so kind of note that. Also, this is the part that is challenging. It's not really, it's not really that challenging. Um, it's pretty easy, but you just need to be really fast. So, go down here, turn left, and then you'll see this little, uh, kind of busted down room. You got these red, uh, lights here. And then you will walk through. Now, before doing this, do not just go into it. There's a freaking rocket right here. And you have to get the key. And you have to sprint out the way you came in. So make sure you got all your sprint. Make sure you know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, do not go this way. I was an idiot when I first did it. And I went down here and I died because the rocket blew up. So do not go that way. So go out the way you came in with the grass. That is a t uh, sign to know when you jump down. Do not go the one that's playing. Go to the one with the grass. But anyways, coming up in here, you climb up the ladder up to the top and then you come up here here's the rocket again don't know what that was but you come in here follow these red lights and uh, someone's been playing south of in here also this is m this is my freaking first ever south of florida video look at my freaking watermark in the bottom right i don't know why they screenshotted this but there you go it's my uh, freaking south of florida. all right so the key is right here you're going to want to run after this. So get ready. Just absolutely sprint. Fall down the ladder where you came in and run out the way you came in. So interact and then watch. It'll say get out of there. Yep, you need to run now. You need to run now. Run down just like this. Out like this. And you're going to keep running, keep running, keep running. And then once you turn the corner, you should be good. And then watch. You guys will see there's a bunch of smoke that comes out. Just wait. We'll just wait here. Let me back up a little bit more. Yep, there it goes. And that's when you die. So it's, it's about a good, I don't know. What is that like? Five-ish, ten seconds before the thing takes off. So there we go. Now we're good. That thing took off. So now we need to backtrack, get out of this cave, and head over to the power room, which is where you will escape. So at this little intersection, you need to go left. And then you see these red glowing uh, lights. Keep going straight. Um, don't go in there. Keep going. Do not keep. Do not go in there. Keep going down. And you will come straight down to this area right here. But you really don't need the map after that part. So you come down here and you got this little room. Do not fall down in there. I don't know what happens. Uh, you don't really want to know. I don't really want to find out. Uh, it's also that. Don't know what that is. But you come down here. Just keep running all the way down. Following these red glow sticks. And you get to here. And then you have a key. So you can walk right in this room. Okay. Last time I did this. Raft appeared uh, just randomly out of thin air, but apparently it was not supposed to spawn there, so let's just cross our fingers and hope that this does not happen again. Also, uh, another little note here. Uh, I don't know what this means, but log date, October 31st, uh, 1987. Final record for Bonita Springs Sanitation Plant Complex 11D. Zero issues. Thanks, Max, for looking over the night shift. M m something reports. Something reports. I can't read that because my freaking cursor is too fat. Minimal reports. Report log. One employee from FinTech stopping you to check up. On the sewer connection to their building, did not want any sanitation plant workers assisting them. Something about security. This facility will be closed off uh, to the new system tomorrow. Farewell. Final note, another employee reported Morse code in a service tunnel somewhere in the back tunnels. Could be something with FinTech. I'm not sure. Probably not worth effort to check out. Maybe in the future. So I have heard, so if you guys have seen that little tree room, uh, there is a tree room. Uh, I'll put a little uh, clip up on screen when I found it first. Oh no, what is this? Oh no, what is this? What are we stumbling upon right now? Oh my god, what is this? Bro, why is it so bright? What is this? Do I walk out here or is it gonna fall? Okay, I'm in. What is this? <gasps> What is this? Oh my god, what is this? Okay, yeah, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Yep, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Come on, where's the, where's the, where's the thing at? I'm lost. I should not have came in here. Oh my god, I'm stuck in here. <gasps> no, 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 sure, I'm stuck in here. No, sure, I'm stuck in here. No shot, I'm stuck in here. No shot, I'm stuck in here. Am I actually stuck in here? 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Do not go in there. Do not go in there. If you walk up to the tree, it'll start spitting out Morse code. And if you translate, it'll be gullible. G-U-L-L-1-B-L-3. And that is a code for $150,000. Uh, so that's that one code that I showed you guys in the previous video that I just uploaded about uh, the rest of the update. Um, so that is how people get that code. Um, also, there's an orb... Uh, that is around the map somewhere, kind of near the two valves, uh, on the right side, uh, of this map right here. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of circle. It says, do not touch on the map. That is the orb. It may look cool. Don't go and touch it. Uh, you'll die. But, uh, yeah, so that is that. If you guys do want to go to the tree, it is on the map labeled T, so you guys can head over there if you guys really want to. Uh, and it's kind of close to us, uh, where we're at right now, but I don't really want to go over there. Uh, and I'd put a clip on screen, so if you guys really want to see what it looks like, there you go. But, after this, you run out here, and it should be... Fairly easy. I swear to God, if Raph spawns in front of my face, I'm going to be so mad. I was walking down here. I was like, home stretch, baby. And then he just says, run. Okay, I don't know why it says run, but I'm running. I don't know why it says run, but I'm running. Just follow the arrows. This is new. I did not see this. So you come up here, and you got a little bit of a parkour uh, to get up. I really wish this was third person, because uh, this is kind of annoying uh, doing it in uh, doing it in uh, first person. But I don't know why it says run. That's new. I have no idea what's going on. So just kind of walk up. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. Do not fall. It kind of messes you up with your blocky characters, or at least mine, at least. Oh, my God. 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 All right. All right. All right. Almost up the top. And then look. There we go. And now you're out. You climb up this ladder. Home stretch, baby. There we freaking go. Your award awaits. And look at this, dude. We got the freaking... <laughs> It's like in the old Roblox game. So, come up to this. You start walking up to it, and then you'll teleport eventually. And there, you guys have it. You now have the Demon 170. Now, all of the little issues should be fixed. So, you should not have any issues getting the car uh, with Raft uh, being too confusing or no teleportation at all. Make sure you hit play when you come back. And there we go. You escape Raft. Congratulations to the 2023 Doge Dodgy. Challenger SRT Team 170 has been added to your garage, and there we freaking go. Now, uh, I already did it, so I had it before, but I just wanted to go through it again and uh, do it for you guys for this video. But check this thing out, dude. This is what you get for completing that. So far, I got the move over. I'd rather eat worms than drive a third move over peasant. Type Johnson over here. This thing looks so fire. So, yeah, boys, when I first did it, it took me so long to do it. And then I got this map uh, that somebody had made, and I was able to finish it. Thank goodness. But there we guys go. There is a full video guide on how to get the Team 170. That's probably the easiest way. It took me like, what, 15 minutes? So if you do use this guide, it can probably take you 15 minutes or less. So there you guys freaking go, dude. I appreciate every single one of you for watching this video. If you guys thought this was helpful and you enjoyed the video, let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, I was really enjoying that Southwest Florida update. Not too sure how long uh, the event will last. Uh, it does not say. I'd say maybe a week or two. If I had to assume uh, how long this event will last, not too sure. Uh, but if anybody knows the date, let me know down below in the comments. I'll pin it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, boys, I appreciate every single one of you watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!